Hey guys, even here and in today's video we're gonna do something fun, we're gonna compare two of the largest bodybuilding freaks in the last 10 years or so. We might get to see this comparison this year at a Mr. Olympia stage, it's very possible, but we don't know that for sure. First of all, Nexilla needs to qualify and second of all, Big Ramen needs to confirm that he is doing the Mr. Olympia. If you guys follow my channel, you know what Big Remy's most recent update was. He took a photo with this bodybuilding coach, prep coach, and they said stay tuned, the hashtag train like a champ and so on. And it really seemed like this guy was coaching Big Remy now, and I guess if he's coaching him right now, he's prepping him for a Mr. Olympia. However, I saw some comments that he did a podcast, an Egyptian podcast, in which he said that he's working with Chad Nichols, which we know that he stopped working with him and worked with Patrick Tour for a while, and I guess that this was a new coach, but maybe it's not, I'm not sure how accurate this new information is, but that's what people are saying, anyways, we don't know, still we don't know for a fact whether Big Remy is prepping, is competing, is doing the Mr. Olympia or not, hopefully we're gonna see Nexilla vs Big Remy on stage, but today we're gonna do this virtual comparison. Another thing that we do know for a fact is that Nexilla this year at a Dubai Pro is gonna present a completely new physique. What we saw at Prague Pro last year is not what we're gonna see this year. This year this guy is gonna be so much better, I'm sure about that. And maybe after that show we can do another comparison where we're gonna compare the new, the improved version of Rubiel versus Big Remy at his absolute best. If you guys would like me to do that, tell me in the comments down below, but right now we're gonna focus, we're gonna do a comparison with what we know, what we saw already. So Nexilla at Prague Pro, which is a pro debut of his, I know, but he was also a pro for a long time in the other federation, however it's still Nexilla like at the beginning of his career. And like in 10 years time we can make another comparison like Nexilla at his best at the peak of his career versus Big Remy at his best. But we can do that after the Dubai Pro as well because I think a Dubai Pro Nexilla is gonna be probably like very very extremely good. What we also could do is compare Nexilla at his current versus Big Remy at his beginnings. This photo is about the time when the Big Remy burst to the scene and everybody was talking about him, how he's the future Mr. Olympia, how he's one of the freakiest guys, how he's gonna be a monster in a couple of years, which is pretty much what people are saying about Nexilla right now. Same things, right? And their physiques also are very similar, they both have crazy quads. But I'm not gonna do this in this video at least because we're not gonna be able to see this ever again. So I decided to compare their recent physiques. Big Remy at his last Mr. Olympia 2022, where he placed, I wouldn't say the lowest, he placed lower than Mr. Olympia before, but in the recent times it was very low for him, 5th place, and Nexilla at his only pro show that he did last year, Prague Pro, where he took 3rd, so let's begin, let's start with the front double bicep. So the first thing I'm noticing here are their legs, both of these guys are known for humongous legs, especially quads, and in this comparison right here, Nexilla is kinda dwarfing Big Remy. Would this have always been the case? For example, if you compared Big Remy from the Arnold Classic Brazil, I believe 2014, would this be the case? Would Nexilla be dwarfing Big Remy's legs? No, 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 no. Big Remy's legs used to be fuller, rounder, uh, looked more aesthetic, like looked freakier, but you know, with age, he suffered some, I don't know, injuries, nerve damages, whatever, and they're not looking as aesthetic, as full as they used to, but they're still big, they're still very, very massive, like those outer sweeps, you don't see that very often, but the shape is definitely a huge factor, and Exila is still looking very fresh, and maybe his outer sweeps are not even that exaggerated, like with Big Remy, but his overall size of the legs, including the adductors, even the calves, the, 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 the teardrop, I mean everything really, the thickness of the legs, his legs are just bigger. Now as far as the waist size, when Big Remy hits the vacuum, his waist is smaller, and I would say generally his waist was always smaller than Exila's. Exila has, you know, a little bit thicker waist. Not a big waist, no. His waist is, in my opinion, just fine. But Big Ramy's waist, compared to his shoulders and to his outer sweeps of the quadriceps, was always kind of small, right? Now, as far as like the arms, Big Ramy's arms are better. Like he has much better shape of the biceps and triceps in the front double. Like the triceps are sweeping and hanging low, the biceps are peaky and well-shaped, 
and the way he's hitting the pose, opening up the lats and everything, he just does a much better job with that than Nexilla. I'm pretty sure Nexilla is gonna do that much better this year, but last year his posing was disastrous, it was horrible. So I think this year it's gonna be better, but here, the way he was hitting this front double bicep, I think he wasn't exactly maxing out this pose, because of posing, but... So if you look at everything, like the arms, the lat pop, the size of the waist, and the way the pose flows, you could say that Big Remy is winning this, I mean, he was fifth at the Mr. Olympia, he beat a lot of guys, and we don't know if Nexilla is truly like a top 6 material, I believe he is... I believe he can be, he still didn't prove that yet, but I think he can do it. And the biggest thing here is that Nexilla's physique is still very fresh. He has no dents in the quads, his calves are not melted, there are no issues with his physique here. What about conditioning? Well, the lighting is different, it's difficult to say, I would say it's pretty close, pretty similar. Maybe Big Ram is a little bit more conditioned, a little bit. But I would say conditioning is very close. Now, because of the way Big Remy's physique is flowing in this pose, the way his arms are looking, the way his waist and shoulder ratio is looking, the way his lats are popping, the way he's posing simply, and like with everything else considered, I think Big Remy is winning front double bicep. Big Remy also hits this variation, he crunches the abs, which I think is an inferior version of his front double bicep. So I use the other one for this comparison. Now we go to the front lat spread. And this one also very interesting, very close. Now as far as the legs, again, both of these guys have crazy quads. The problem with Big Ramy is all this atrophy that happened. And those bumps and, and dents in the quads. What are they from, by the way? I think they are from injecting too much of whatever in those quads. And over the years, uh, some of the tissue died off. And that's what his legs are looking like right now. They looked good when he was younger. But as he got older, you know, some atrophy happened. And uh, some of the necrosis because of all the injections and scar tissue happened. So I think that's what happened. But still, they're holding their own. They're still big, they're still separated, maybe even more separated than they were when he was younger, more conditioned, not as fresh, not as aesthetic, but still very freaky. Nexilla, however, I mean, his legs are bigger here. His legs are, they're looking natural, they're looking normal, I mean, natural in a way that they weren't uh, enhanced with sight enhancement oil, but they're looking cleaner, bigger, denser, fresher. So legs, I would go with Nexilla. But the rest of the pose, I don't know, Nixilla was posing so horribly at this show, so it's difficult to judge this. I mean, I, I hope he's going to improve it and do a proper job with the presentation at Dubai Pro. If he doesn't, I don't know how well he can do, but here in this pose, the way he was hitting it, I don't like the way he was posing it. And Big Ramy, it's not Big Ramy at his best once again. When he was at his best, when he would do the front lat spread, he would be super, super wide. And here he's also wide, but the midsection is completely washed up. There are no details there. The arms lost their size. The shoulders are also smaller. The forearms, look at the left forearm. It's completely melted. So a little bit too much atrophy, but still the way he's hitting it. And I would say with better conditioning in this pose, it's really close. It's really close if you ask me. I would say mainly because of the posing, the way he's doing this pose, I would give it to him. I know Nexilla is probably more impressive, and if he did this pose properly, he would look better, but I'm judging what I'm seeing right here, and honestly, I find Rami's physique more impressive here, better, in terms of bodybuilding judging. So that's 2-0 for Big Rami. Now we turn to the side, and this one is very interesting. Both of these guys are mass freaks. They are close to 300 pounds on this stage right here, and uh, they are thick as hell, especially from the side. And Big Rami, what he can do in the side poses, he can hide all of those imbalances and, and all the asymmetry, all the things that are wrong with his physique, and he can show some really good details, right? Like, he has those deep cuts in the glutes that Nexilla simply doesn't have. Now, you can see some things. You can see that, like, Rami's triceps are not very full, not very round, not the way they used to be when he was at his prime. And you can say the same thing about his shoulders and his chest and his quads, even, yeah? But Nexilla, look at the fullness in the quads. Like, look at how low they are inserted and how big that sweep is. 
The hamstrings also really full, really sweepy, arms are massive, huge, round, chest is also bigger, rounder, overall he's more freaky I would say in this one, he's full, rounder, Big Ram is a little bit flatter, what Big Ramy has going on for him is the details, especially in the glutes, but overall, the entirety of the pose, the flow, the fullness, the roundness, it's Nexilla, and I give him this pose, so it's 2 to 1 for Big Ramy right now. Now we move on to the other side pose, Big Ramy did it in his posing routine and for some reason Exila didn't, I don't know why, it's absolutely his best pose that he has, but Big Ramy was also kinda known for his side tricep, especially back in the day when he was at his best, but even this year, in 2022, his side tricep also looked pretty good, because once again he could hide all the things that are wrong with his physique. You can't see the dance in the quads or the bumps in the glutes, you can't see that like his triceps are smaller, when he presses the arm to the lats, like the arms are also looking bigger, he's detailed, the midsection however is completely washed up, which is not very common for Big Ramy, the details, the separation between abs is gone, which is not looking very good, and Exila, pff, I mean this side tricep, one of the best in the world one of the best ever, really, the triceps themselves, when he puts them to the side and he flexes the arm, they're popping out like crazy, the chest is big and full, the midsection is nice and tight, the abs are visible, the legs are looking absolutely insane, and I just gotta go with Nixilla in this pose, so it's two for both right now, now we move on to the back side, and this one is very, very interesting, now, Big Ramy was never exactly known for his back, even at his prime. It was always a little bit troublesome, like the lats were always a little bit uh, taller, you know, higher inserted, and they weren't exactly his, his strongest body part. He was wide from the front, but from behind, his back was always a little bit shallow, it lacked detail and also like the density and thickness in the lats, but this year it was really bad, and I think he improved it a lot, especially with the posing next year at the Arnold Classic, but here at the Mr. Olympia it was bad, it was just horrible, but his glutes were definitely a lot more conditioned, even though he was growing horns in his upper glutes or whatever that was, still like his glutes are definitely leaner, more detailed, the separation was deeper, so he was definitely in better conditioning, you could probably say the same thing about the hamstrings, and like the back itself, I mean it's Nexilla all day long, it's Nexilla all day, I mean, Nexilla also, like, his back is not exactly the best, you know, with his frame, with his structure, it's not exactly flowing the, the, the best way, but I think it's gonna be much better than the Dubai Pro, but what we saw last year, the Prague Pro, you know, it wasn't exactly the craziest back, especially compared to his lower body, it was kind of disproportionate, however, it's definitely much better than Big Remy here, so it's not even a comparison, really, I think we can all agree that Big Remy can't possibly win this pose, so it's 3 to 2 for Nexilla right now. I know I sound like a broken record, but what the hell was Nexilla doing with his posing? Like, he hit this pose for like a moment, for like a part of the second. And I paused it right here, but he could have done a much better job with this. So, back double bicep, it wasn't really close, it wasn't close at all. Big Ramy was losing that one, and he would lose that one against pretty much everybody in that top 15 at the Mr. Olympia, maybe even. But as far as the back lat spread, it's a much different story. Again, with the lower body, much better conditioning, much more details, and the back itself, also, Big Ramy is better in this one. Like, the detail is deeper, the conditioning is better, he's probably opening up more, you know, he's wider, his shoulder to waist ratio is better, his neck looks normal, so I gotta give this one to Big Ramy. so it's 3 to 3. Now they're turning back around, Nexilla stopped his posing routine here, but added this photo from a stage as well, the same stage, uh, abs and thighs, and this one is very, very interesting, because again, both of these guys are known for their freaking thighs, for their freaking legs, none of them are looking super aesthetic in this one, but they both have freaky legs, and their abs are also quite prominent, like quite visible, when Big Ramy flexes those abs, like they are popping out, things are happening, but surprisingly, Nexilla's waist is actually looking smaller in this pose, and his lats are kind of popping out more, so I would say his X-frame is better in this one, even though he's more narrow in the shoulders, 
As you can see, Big Ram is wider upstairs, but Big Ram is kind of crunching forward a little bit too much, which is kind of ruining his wee taper. And Exila is standing more upright and still managing to really flex the abs and to show the details. So I think he has better detail in the abs. Maybe he's not more conditioned, but I think his abs are just better, more symmetrical, more developed, thicker, and also his waist, at least here, seems smaller. Now, as far as the legs, none of these guys have the best separation. Their legs are really thick, really, really dense, to the point where the separation gets lost a little bit. As far as the conditioning, I think Big Ram is more conditioned, but because he has no details, it doesn't even matter. And Exila's legs are more massive. Is that helping him or hurting him? Because it is hurting his balance, his uh, symmetry, proportions. I don't know. Like For me personally, I like Exila's physique more here. So I'll give him this one. It's 4-3 for Exila right now. And the last pose is most muscular. None of these guys did it in their posing routines, but we got some photos from the stage. Who wins this one? It's really difficult to judge this because these guys are hitting it from a different angle. However, because of the details, because of the way he's hitting the pose, I would go with Big Ramy in this one. Also because of his shoulder width and the shoulder mass. Yeah, I, I think Big Ramy is doing a good job with this one, the way he's hitting it. Like, he's hiding also a lot of his flaws. The arms are looking pretty big here. The midsection is looking good. The shoulders are just so much bigger. It's looking crazy. And I give this one to Big Ramy. So that's four, four. It's a tie. It's a tie. Or at least it would be if they competed two years ago on the Mr. Olympia stage with these versions of them. Now this year we're going to see a much improved version of uh, Ruby and Mosquera. I'm pretty sure about that. And Big Remy, I mean, some time has passed. Maybe he looks worse. Maybe he recovered and looks fresher, which I doubt, really. I think best case scenario, Big Ram is going to be the way he was at the Arrow Classic 2023. And I think Nexilla is going to reach a completely different level. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's the way I see it. If these guys do the Mr. Olympia, I definitely do have Nexilla winning. Placing ahead of Big Ramy. But let's wait, let's see what Nexilla looks like. And then we can compare him to the Big Ramy at his absolute best. Let's say 2020, when he won his first title. Anyways, guys, tell me down below in the comment section, what do you think? Was this accurate? Do you disagree with something? Whatever is on your mind, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.